tour of California stage six, big day, right? We can't get footage from 201, but basically Sky lit it up on the climb and four, four riders left with Adam Yates a little bit further back with Felipe Martinez, Tal Gegenhart, Adam Yates, uh, Egan Manal and TJ Van Garen. So Tal Gegenhart is fifth on GC and has gone on the attack. Adam Yates in fourth on GC has now gone on the attack and you see Egan Bernal is now hopping across um, the gap to tr basically he's in second place on GC, about 20 seconds down on TJ Van Garderen. So you can see here, getting hard on the attack and uh, Bernal's straight on that wheel, getting that good slipstream. It's a pretty fast climb, about about 6-7%, I believe, so some good drafting happening here. Uh, and you can see TJ Van Garderen is just drilling across to, to try and get across. Adam Yates and uh, Felipe Martinez are struggling a little bit. Um, but you can see TJ Van Garderen looks like he's got this in the bag, he's he's coming across, you can see he's got a bit of draft now, so it shouldn't be too hard. But as soon as he gets across, you we all know what's gonna happen. Um, one of the Sky Boys is gonna go on the attack, probably burn out, because he's gonna be a bit fresher. And they, all they want to do is basically isolate uh, TJ Van Garderen and burn out, because they know burn out's the better climber. So that's all they need to do, get burn out up the road, and hopefully TJ won't be able to chase, and if he does, uh, Gagan Hart might be able to do the one too. So anyway, you can see here, Bernal goes, and that's just it. Game over. I mean, like, look at the, the the gap. He puts it in literally a second already, like just a couple seconds ahead of, up the road now. And there's just absolutely no chance that um, TJ Van Garderen is going to be able to respond to that attack. He might be able to get him back if he just sets into a real high threshold. But we all know that Bernal's got a high... Th uh, he's just a fast climb. He's got a high threshold. So at this point, there's absolutely no chance that uh, Bernal's not going to get caught. TJ Van Garder has been absolutely screwed over, um, and yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much what happened. Uh, it's a shame we can't see any of the rest of the climb, but I couldn't find any footage. But you can see Sky played it well. Uh, Gagan Hart went on the attack, then Bernal bridged across. TJ had to then bridge, and then you can see that. So Adam Yates is now bridged across again. Uh, he did some turns on the front, and again by now, has now got a good 35 second lead. Uh, here we go with Adam Yates on the front. Gagan Hart's just sitting on and don't need to do any work. And you see Felipe Martinez is uh, closing that gap. So Felipe Martinez was quite intelligent in some ways because he just uh, he didn't go really go that hard to get across the gap. But you can see TJ Van Garderen has slowed down a lot because he was able to respond to that initial attack by Bernal quite a lot. But he's now lost 35 seconds. I think it's more like 55 seconds uh, to Egan Bernal. And I think it's about 50, 50 seconds to these guys and maybe 55 to Daniel, Daniel Martinez because they're pretty close now. And uh, you can see uh, with 1K to go, it's now up to 50 seconds. And Martinez has got 10 seconds to close the gap and he's, he's just about to ride across. He's in second place, oh no, third place on GC. Uh, just behind Egan by now. Uh, you'll see it at the bottom, they sort of have a, well, the time difference there on. So he's 37 seconds down on TJ Van Garderen. And Egan by now, I believe, is about 23 seconds down. Uh, so Adam Yates is in fourth place, so he really wants to try and get that place back. But you can see here, uh, Tao Gang Hart goes for a good attack um, just to try and ruin the chase because obviously then everyone basically tries to get across to him. So you can see Adam Yates then sprints across and Tao just shuts it down straight away. But that's just burnt their legs. It's ruined their cohesiveness, and it's probably gained burn now two or three seconds, maybe Let's five seconds. And again, you can see here, it's then coming up to the final, the KOM. Bernal's so already on the descent, the uh, pretty fast well, descent, pedal most of it. There's a little bit of aero tuck, but literally zero technical corners. I, well, I, I doubt they break at all on that descent, really, because with open roads like that, you really just don't need to close roads, sorry, where you can go across the whole road. You can see Adam Yates is starting to up the tempo a little bit, trying to drop old TJ. As we can see now, TJ gets dropped, Gagan Hart has no worries going around him. You can see here, just on the other side of the road to make sure that, um, that what's his face, TJ Van Garderen can't get on the wheel. Gagan Hart closes that very easily, goes straight past Daniel Martinez. So Gagan Hart's in real good form, and Adam Yates is also looking solid. Uh, he paced himself, obviously, a little bit early, didn't respond to the attacks straight away, but he's looking good in good form at this moment in time. Uh, just going over, just crushing the climb now, and you can see he's probably put about 10 seconds into uh, TJ Van Garderen. So TJ had a, had, a hard, had a harsh day, to be honest. Um, you can see here, Brendan McNulty is about to just come past him. Uh, good ride. He think he's only at 20, 21 or something. He's a good bloke. Brendan McNulty, a uh, real solid man. He might actually be 19. I'm not going to sure, but he's, he's an absolute world beater. Uh, he's, he's a legend. And look, he goes straight past him. Uh, so we now have Egan Banal with 2k to go. Brandon McNulty attacks again. There was a big regrouping. A lot of people got in, like Lawrence Plus, Jay Hindley from Team Sunweb. And you can see Rafa Michael gets straight on the wheel. Same with Adam Yates. Uh, and same with one of the UAE um, Team Emirates riders. I'm not 100% sure who that was. But you can see here the break basically forms pretty early on. Talge and Hart didn't get involved, which I thought was odd. But maybe he didn't He didn't want to drag everyone up because he thought it would be more powerful. I don't really know why Tal didn't get across. Maybe he was just like feeling a bit tight. I don't know. But he, he was definitely the freshest because obviously he's pulling no turns. Uh, here we have um, here we have the final 
0.5 miles, 8 kilometers. See, these four guys are up the road. Rafael Maika, Adam Yates. But now he's got it in the bag. He's got like a minute 35 now. It's fucking easy. He just fucking bangs it out. Not even difficult for the man. Looks pretty. Looks like he's suffering uh, quite a fair amount, but he's looking pretty chill, to be honest. Uh, he looks confident. You can see Adam Yates just le leading from the front. There you go, Bernal. Just head up the road, just concentrating on the effort. Looks pretty, pretty relaxed because I guess he knows he's going to do it. He's not suffering. He's suffering a lot, but he's not. He's not like suffering in terms of like losing. He's suffering in a good way because he's about to win the win the stage. And I think mentally, you can see, that changes you quite a lot. And he's looking looking pretty confident out the saddle. He had pretty low cadence on this ride, uh, but anyway, he's an absolute legend. <laughs> he's just such a good bloke. Um, I just can't really get enough of the young man. He's just. He's just so good. Um, like, on this stage, he just played it to perfection. Attacked so far out, uh, like 13, 12k to go, and then uh, just launched it. Just launched it on the descent. And on this little kicker, he's got past as well, so it was a good bloke. Uh, and the race for behind was basically Adam Yates. Uh, had a good ride, same with Talgan Hart. Two, two British riders on the, <laughs> on the podium, which is pretty beautiful. And Egan Bernal, the good Colombian bloke, he's just like bangs these out like look he just looks so natural on the bike his long arms long legs he just looks like he's fucking born on the bike he's just such a so skinny as well he like literally has nothing on him um he's the real deal in my opinion he can time trial pretty well considering he's only really just started to get on the world tour with the with the time trialing so i feel like in a couple of years he's going to be a real solid gc contender for grand tours um so yeah he put in a, <laughs> a minute 40 <laughs> that's big adam yates is now going he's like see you boys i'm going uh, Adam Yates always has a nice out of the saddle technique. Always enjoy watching that. He looks around. He's always quite stocky on the bike. He looks. Uh, he's pretty wide handlebars. Looks pretty like I don't know. Opens that chest up quite a lot. And you can see uh, Random McNulty is having a bit of problems following this move. Uh, and Gagan Hart is just dancing across. TJ's like, oh, this hurts a lot. Uh, Mike has gone pretty far backwards as well. Uh, Random McNulty had a good ride. Um, you can see here Tao's really coming racing across that gap. If, I think if he was in the same group as Adam Yates, he probably could have got uh, could have um, could have got second on the stage because he he put in a, he like gained a lot of time on this real short short climb. You can see the speed that he's coming up to Brandon McNulty. He's just going to sit on his wheel and then just try and sprint past him at the end. He looks Gagan Hart does look very like Froome. Um, his pedaling technique is a little bit interesting. He is very toe down, very toe down indeed. But he does like from some angles. I was like, mm, this looks like Froome because he's just very gangly, pretty pale as well. I don't know, he just looked, he looked very, very similar in some, on this little sprint. I was like, oh, like that. It's just very Froome-esque, uh, very interesting. But anyway, Gagan Hart comes around Brandon McNulty to get third place. Um, he don't don't think he got enough time to get into the uh, into the podium. Adam Yates put in some good time. One minute, 27 behind Bernal. And so Bernal's now in the leader's jersey. I think it's a sprint stage to go, so he's pretty much got the GC in the bag. Jay Hindley also did a good ride. Um, and TJ's like, ah. Oh, that Colombian bloke mugged me off again. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. Such a good race. California is always really exciting. Uh, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid. The mighty, the forces of evil can never destroy the powers of the Wonder Man. And though the most formidable journey lies ahead, only one will prevail. Wonder. Wonder. Wonder Man. <laughs>